And happening now, sewage is seeping into the Missouri River, and after nearly five days, it's not clear when or how it will be stopped. Sludge pipes near a Kansas City, Missouri wastewater treatment plant burst on Sunday, and crews are still trying to figure out how to fix it. KCTV5's Emily Sonovic joins us now live from Santa Fe and Woods Weather, where KC water crews say this is an even bigger problem than they initially thought. Emily? Yeah, and Brad, that's why we're kind of keeping our distance because there are so many trucks, so many crews coming in and out of here trying to fix what looks like a massive sinkhole behind me. And we'll show you that in a second. But that is where they found three giant pipes that burst. One that's about 12 inches, one that's about 30 inches, and one that's big enough you could drive that truck right through it. So what you're looking at is the sinkhole that was created at the time that the pipe likely broke. That's Brent Herring. He's with Casey Water. He's the guy in charge of fixing this. It's always alarming because this is what we work to ensure does not happen. What happened? Those sludge pipes burst. Why isn't clear? So we'll get in there and we'll do our forensic analysis and understand what happened to the best of our ability. And as we repair this, um, can you repair this? Oh, yes, this we can. This looks bad. Uh, we can repair it. When the repairs are complete is completely up in the air right now. But what is clear is those pipes were hauling a lot of sludge, a mix of runoff water and sewage that's supposed to go to the treatment plant to get cleaned up. Do people need to be worried, though? I mean, we're talking about a 10-foot diameter pipe. That's a lot of flow it's, to be it, going into a river. Yeah, it is a lot of flow. But remember, we've had a lot of rain. It's more flow than usual. We've had a lot of rain. The ground is saturated. The rivers are high. So it's a pretty dilute mixture. Yeah, the odd part of all of this is that all that rain we've had, the reason the Missouri River is so high right now, that's actually good news. Because what is getting dumped into the river right now is watered down. Casey Water has also been working with the state's Department of Natural Resources and both checking the water for any signs of environmental impact. But as of now, no signs of impact on wildlife, and they say no health risk for humans at this point. Folks we met who live along the river or were just out for a walk said they weren't too concerned without any real high expectations for a clean Missouri River. I think there's probably a lot of contaminants getting flushed into the river anyway. But just don't ask them to dive in anytime soon. No, I wouldn't swim in it. <laughs> yeah, would you go take a swim right now? No. That river is treacherous. Without sewage? Without sewage. I've seen people swimming in it, though. I wouldn't. So again, not an ideal situation, but no health risks at this time. Still, the manager for KC Wastewater, he tells me that this is probably one of the worst breakages he's seen again in his entire career. That's 30 to 40 years in this industry. But as of now, they are doing tests every single day with the Department of Natural Resources. They're staying on top of this. And as soon as we hear anything different, including when they actually fix this, we will keep you posted. Reporting live, I'm Emily Sinovic, KCTV5 News. Yeah, that's the big question. When will it get fixed? Emily, yes. thanks.